In this video, we're going to be installing this Delta Multi-Choice Tub Shower Combo Shower Valve. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. I'm gonna be installing this shower valve using PEX pipe. So what I bought are these half inch PEX to half inch female threaded brass adapter. Make sure they're lead free and they're gonna thread on each one of those male half inch sections on the multi-choice shower valve. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Take note of the four ports. This is designed for the shower tub combo and its model is UNBX. If you need it just for a shower, I recommend getting model UNBX HF. That's gonna be the model for showers only. So essentially what we gotta do is take each one of these adapters and attach it to each one of these male threaded half inch sections. So let's go ahead and get them all here so we're ready to go. And the first thing we're gonna to have to do is use Tef tape or Teflon tape, however you wanna call it. And you're gonna to have to install this on each one of those threaded sections. So just uh, if you've never done Tef before, if your fitting turns this way, you wanna be sure to wrap that way and snap the tape this way. Cause if you thread this on going this way, it's gonna unthread your Tef. So you wanna go ahead and lay it right on your threaded section. And I like to wrap it several times. It seems like it takes at least six wraps or so in order to get a good coverage here. And now what I do is I'll use what's called great white joint compound. And you wanna take this stuff and uh, you don't need a ton of it, but you just take it and go around that teff tape now make sure you don't have any inside of the port we're going to thread that on now we're going to use a crescent wrench or if you have a regular wrench that fits this size just go ahead and tighten that down all the way all right now after you're snug go ahead and just do the same thing on each one of these male half inch sections Next thing I want to let you know is these do not have to be for PEX. You can get these adapters that are for CPVC or copper as well. And if you look at the bottom here, it says up. So now we know that this is going to go to our shower head and this is going to go to our spigot for our bathtub. So here's going to be the hot and cold right here coming in. So if you're looking at the shower valve like this, we know hot's going to be on the left, cold's going to be on the right. So we're going to use our red PEX on this side. So let's go ahead and put an elbow going down so we can go ahead and put this on now because it's gonna be easier to do it now than after it's installed behind the block. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna install this going to the shower head and this down to the spigot after it's behind the blocking because it's gonna be easier to get our height measurements. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So the first thing we gotta do is measure and find the center. So all you gotta do is pull over to the pre-drilled hole in the tub itself. And it looks like we're about 16 and three quarter off the edge of the shower tub combo. But if you're using tile, you can just measure right in between and get the measurement that way to find your center. But then the height is what I found to be the best in a tub is you come up about two foot for your spigot hole and then come up about three foot for your shower valve itself. This is an inch and a quarter hole saw. I'm gonna use it to drill out for the spigot itself. For the shower valve, I'm gonna use a two and a quarter inch hole saw. And again, found the center and then I came up three foot the height off the base of the bathtub. So let's drill that out. Drills out like nothing. This fiberglass is not that tough. 
All right, so now we're gonna to have to go around to the back end. So what I went ahead and done was attach this shower valve to this two by four block, which in return is gonna be attached to the stud, which is gonna hold it into place. And I extended the hot and the cold water lines down from those elbows and went ahead and attached the piece that's gonna be going down to the spigot because it's gonna be much easier to do that now than it is after it's attached to the wall. So, and this part's gonna be going up to the shower head. So I'm gonna install that after the fact. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it into this hole that we drilled out earlier and attach this to the two by four stud. Let's do that. Something else I wanted to show you, it's gonna come with this black like spacer piece. So you just snap that onto the actual shower valve and you can take this and butt it right up to the shower stall. That way it's spaced correctly without having to think about it. So here we go, we're just gonna slide it right into place. And now all we gotta do is take screws and attach it from the back side. If you're wondering how I'm able to drive these screws in in this tight spot, I'm using the rigid job max with a right angled impact driver and the screw length is three inches. It's perfect going through a stud and into a block. All right, let me get a rundown of what we got here. So here's our shower valve and then it's coming down here to our spigot that's elbowed out into the tub. And then if we come up here, this is our shower head right here, elbowing out of the wall as well. So let me go over to this side of the tub. And this ain't a really big bathroom. This is just a 5'8 bathroom. But if you look here, this is going to be our nipple for our spigot. And you can see it's on there really solid. Here's our shower valve. I'm going to show you what's inside here in case you're wondering. So if you open this up, there's actually, believe it or not, there's nothing in here. That's because this is a blank that does not have the cartridge in it yet. So when you get your trims, it's gonna come with the cartridge that fits in here that you're gonna to use to uh, mix your hot and cold water. And then if you look up here, that is where our shower head's gonna be elbowed out. And these pieces right here are called drop ears. They're about $7, $8 a piece or so. And that's how you elbow from the pecs out to your shower head and your spigot. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be installing another shower valve that's for a tiled shower that's going to be installed a little bit different than what we got here. All right, guys, I got a lot of stuff I got to get done. I want to say again, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hammer that like button for me. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <clears throat> I'm going to be installing this rough end valve using PEX pipe. So what I need to do... In this video, we're going to be installing this Delta Multi-Choice Rough End Shower... What is it? Delta Multi-Choice... ...saw and don't use an actual drill...